bitch. Get out of here. Lads, we're a few weeks into the Myths and Mortals season of Fortnite, and we've all had some time to work out our winning strategies. So it's finally time for me to begin my grind from unranked to unreal in zero build mode. Taking a quick look at the stats, about 90% of players are gold rank and below, even though over 1.5 million players have dropped into this game mode. So today I'm showing you guys my drop spot and all the strategies I use to get to platinum rank in a single stream. The current version of ranked mode is a lot different than the old school arena mode. It's much more about placement, controlling a zone, and having a game plan and sticking to it. And this is especially true at the higher levels and definitely true in the cash cups. This video is packed with tips for any player looking to get better results in the current rank system. And if this video does get you better results, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what your current rank is. And of course, use code Sarhard in the Fortnite item shop to support this channel. These kind of spots were actually very good towards the beginning of the season. And I think we should go down here because Fencing Field has shockwaves. Before we started ranking up, I would first have to establish my rank. And my strategy for rank completely foregoes all the hot spots. And instead, I chose a spot that was much more popular last season around the edge of the map. And you're going to see why when I show you all the assets that this drop spot has for a solo player. Oh yeah, I forget that until you're a certain rank, they do put bots in this mode. So we actually got to be careful. We got to play this correct. Because it's kind of a mixed lobby here. Really? 100% a bot. Ooh, I've been liking this shotgun way more though. It's so snappy. The gatekeeper, if you get a drum on it, best shotgun. If it doesn't have a drum, it might actually be the worst. Oh, there's NPC here. What do you have? Nice. She locks you up. Dude, I think this might be my drop spot. This is really good. I didn't even know this. So you drop here, buy some wings. The wings will take you all throughout here. And then in end game, you switch off from wings to shockwaves. But look at this, right off the bat. Get ourselves a, and that's 200 gold. That's not even that much. There's actually safes around here and you'll get that much gold. Now we have a surprisingly wide loot pool for this early in a season. So take your time and loot everything you see as you make your way up to fencing fields, keeping in mind that placement trumps all. And your real goal with every round should be minimum making it to the top 10 situation. He was definitely over here. The thing I hate about fencing field though is the underside. Oh, here we go. That was kind of a waste. I mistimed that, but that's okay. Whoa! Whoa, that lag! I think he totally escaped because I lagged right there. Now, fighting any medallion holder is definitely a risk, but the Cerberus coin is probably the most dangerous because they essentially have a rechargeable movement item. For that reason, I decide to essentially break the fight once I have to reload and to reposition reload to a better spot with more dominant angles. This guy with his coin, he gets away with a lot for free, but I can't. And give me your coin, brother. Give me this. I get some great tags on this player coming into my spot, but he manages to surprise me when I close the distance to try and finish. It's really only my awareness of my environment that kept me alive in this situation. Those few missed pellets from his shots, those fractions of damage. And then my immediate decision to move away from the situation. In ranked mode, you have to completely throw away your ego. Ooh, as soon as a ready, fight stops bro. going in your favor, don't be afraid to completely break it off. Just try to make distance and find healing items, which are often much closer than you think. God, that he hit me so hard with those three shots. But well, we're looking out with the heals right here. I remain in fencing fields to gatekeep this passive player while building up my movement item stocks because I'm well aware that endgame is coming. However, this player was a little sneakier than I gave him credit for and almost surprised me. But I was definitely more focused up, more on my game. Yes. Yes. 
and I actually discovered a change about Fortnite that I hadn't noticed until this point. A bit of a nerf, really. I could actually see him so well through the bush. Did they nerf bushes right there? He probably thinks I aimbotted him. He doesn't know what I saw. Now it was time for the end game. So I grabbed a car before making my way into the final circles. And this is something you'll definitely want to prioritize because not only are cars essentially moving cover, towards the end of the game, you're really going to be draining your resources. And often the player who wins the game is simply the one who has shockwaves or porta bunkers left in that final fight. However, I made a bit of a misplay that ended up costing me the entire game. Flat out, I don't make money right now. The biggest way you could support me is by using code SOURHEART in the item shop. That is the biggest way to support me. T every 10k V-Bucks spent is $5 in my pocket. That's enough for a happy meal. But here pretty soon my YouTube will be monetized. I just need more watch hours. I just relied on it be- oh god, dude. That was so risky. No, what a- What a douchebag. Third party. Honestly, shouldn't have even gone for the car. I should have just shockwaved immediately. But I- he could have lasered me out of the sky too. It's dumb. We got Silver 3 off our first match. GG's. Since I placed at the top of Silver, my time in these lobbies would be short. But I could still use the few silver rank games I did play to illustrate how the point system works. In these next clips, let's pay attention to the differences in my placement and amount of eliminations. Now I reposition as soon as I see a car on the visual audio. I don't even wait to hear it. And this clip is a good example of why EMPs are pretty good in the early stages of ranked. When you can afford to be more aggressive in the early game, but players are aware and holding their angles. But even though I clean up this elimination, I still get third partied by another player. Getting top 31 with two kills and ranking up 37%. Thank you for that subscription. Thank you. Ah, oh, ah, oh, of course. That fight was already strange enough. This guy, I hope he wins. I genuinely hope he wins. In the next round, I place 45th with three eliminations. However, I never leave my drop spot and actually get aggroed and end up only gaining 27%. This is where the point ranges get a bit variable because who you eliminate and who eliminates you, it really depends on what their rank is, how many points you go up. But you can see that even in silver rank, the system is You're weighted for placement great. points. He went inside right there, I didn't hear anything. No tags at all, but there's two people here. It's like, soon I will hear them battle, and then I take my move. Well, that was not the right like direction to move, brother. He underestimated the tenseness of this situation. This whole time I've been maintaining the dominant position. So even though I know there's a guy in my building, there's no reason for me to descend upon him. In these moments, just remember to check your ego. Nice, let's go. I think I just got sniped at too. The f <laughs> Yep, after that trip, I still got sniped. Okay, here, we got something. Even though I get eliminated right here, this moment is a lesson in why you should have a consistent drop spot. Because when pressured, I know exactly where I can run to to have some guaranteed healing items. Give me this. And we're safe. 
Chef's Kiss, look at that. The final lesson of this round is to just break the fight if you have no game-changing assets. I hit this guy with the DMR shot, but he had Shockwaves oh, and shot. Zeus's Lightning this. Bolts. And you should always assume that every player you fight in ranked is at least at your skill level. What a bitch though, dude. It's all GG's on my end, but I will say he fought empirically, objectively, like a bitch. My final game of silver was actually my worst placement, yet I gained 37%, just like my first game of silver. And the only explanation is that I eliminated better players, and actually in the end was eliminated by a gold rank player for the first time. I also think the points are balanced this way to put in people's head the importance of controlling your drop spot. Even though I'm not leaving my drop spot or getting eliminated soon after, just the fact that I was staying active was putting me up the point system very fast. You can't land that late, bro. You really cannot land that late. Ranked mode is not about the fun and games. He won that, really? I don't know how he hit me for like he hit me through the overshield, bro. This guy hit me for like a hundred damage with his shotgun shot. That doesn't make sense. Now that I was in gold rank, it was time to tighten up the strategy even further. Though I was getting pretty consistent drops at this landing spot, so I decided to keep maining it. However, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna mostly brush over my landings at this point and focus more on the end game and tense survival scenarios. Since gold rank is where it actually starts to cost you a little bit for getting eliminated before those top 10 situations. That boy needs to turn off visual audio because he really should have seen me coming up behind him. There's one more though. There's another person. Another aspect that was added to this drop spot with this season is the computer briefings. Computer, spawn two buried chests. Nice. I don't think I've actually seen this computer yet. And this one lies just north of your landing spot, which you should definitely go for if you're low on loot, because they'll give you purple weapons or a buff. Please be a shotgun. Make this easy for me. All right, whatever. I decide to push on this fight because I notice it's been going for a really long time. And awareness is a sense you're gonna have to develop with practice, but it's definitely important because without it, you'll be leaving easy points on the table. That thunderburst is savage, dude. I'm sitting on a comfortable amount of a limbs and I'm in the top 10. So I just hang out on the edge of storm and build up my loadout. But honestly, I think I start vibing out a little bit too hard. Oh man, I'm gonna miss Oscar actually. Oscar was cool. That's one of those things where I'm glad I played Fortnite as much as I did last season, cause fighting Oscar and that drop spot was fun. That was a peak for me. Recent Fortnite peak. <laughs> That's just the most unathletic, ah. low IQ ah. bro. And let this be a lesson to you to maintain focus and definitely check your minimap once in a while. That game put us deep into gold too, but this next round is actually the first one where we lost our drop spot and still managed to survive. I don't even want to take the time to reload. I got a burst. Poke it. Poke it. Wow, I lost that. 
No doubt he had a scope there. I flew along the coast using the environment as cover and just barely managed to dodge his hail of gunfire. We just got to totally abandon. That sucks, man. That's the first time we've actually lost a drop spot. I ended up finding the medic NPC a bit east up the coast, and she was in a spot that could honestly be a drop spot, and it definitely was for two other players here. I want some security. Straight up, I hired that guy so he can be my muscle. Oh, this is a healing one. Why would you do that outside? But by following the principles I've outlined throughout this video, it was very easy to take them both out and dominate this spot. I don't know what happened to my screen there, but okay. Dude, something about how I got hit, it totally lagged my screen. I normally like to go for the antenna during mid-game since knowing where the next storm circle is is pretty OP. But since my landing was scuffed and the train was coming toward me, I wanted to check it out out of curiosity. And it ended up putting me in a pretty dangerous situation. Though I just relied on my movement to get me out of danger and ended up picking up a free kill out of nowhere. Somehow that guy completely... Somehow that guy completely avoided my senses when I was looking down on at him with the wings. After that fight, I got to perfectly kit my loadout, but it was all for nothing as I got snuck up on and honestly betrayed by my own loot. I got an auto shoddy in this guy's face. How am I losing that? That was a frustrating game. That was a really annoying game, actually. I know I got a lot of points, but my god, bro. At what cost? My sanity. I was now in the final game of my grind to platinum rank, and I actually managed to make it to the top two situation in this one. But first, I want to show off this crazy snipe. Epic took such care with this map, there's no good lines of sight. up bro when it comes to end game the most important circles are the ones that are half in storm and half out in those situations you want to gatekeep aggressively which i'm doing right here and i managed to completely grief this guy's rotation and finish him off quickly for a few easy points did he go up here he did come on From here, it's all about using angles and holding position until the next circle comes. And these zero build end games are really decided by who has to move where. These guys had to have fought in a really dumb spot, but I can't do anything about that. It's, I know where everyone is. That's what's most important. Unfortunately, I made a bad play here. In zero build, often the best method is just to hold the line of sight and wait for your opponent to mess up. And I probably would have gotten the victory very easily if I had just done that. No, dude. Jeez, jeez. We made it to plat at least. If you use the strategies I outlined in this video, or even just outright still my drop spot, I promise you will rank up to platinum faster than you expect. And if you do, use code SOURHEART in the Fortnite item shop.